I'm Kristen Donovan. And I'm Dan Donovan. And we are the co-owners of Hooked. We knew we wanted to open a business. We decided on fish, primarily uh, because from the, the cooking background we both have, we found it a bit of a challenge in our neighborhood to find great fish. Yeah, I, I mean, we, we found it difficult to find fish anywhere in the city of Toronto, really. Um, we weren't happy with the answers we would get at various fish stores about the provenance of the fish, where it came from, when it was caught. Yeah. And um, so we just thought it could be done better. And that was something that excited us. As cooks, we're both, I think, have a deep interest in fish. Um, we want to see more fish in our diets, but we're having a hard time sourcing it. So we felt if we were having the same, that problem, certainly the average person was probably having a similar problem. When we made the decision to deal in sustainable seafood, I don't know that we fully understood that that meant that we couldn't deal through the bulk, the, through most of the large distributors. Um, some of whom have some sustainable pro, uh, products uh, in their portfolio, but no one that, I, that we felt were really committed to it. And much like the stores here, we weren't really happy with the answers we were getting when we asked questions about where it came from, et cetera, et cetera. So it, it sort of became clear uh, that we had to bypass that and go directly to the fishermen or to their processors mm -hmm. to get as close to the source as possible. And, um, and so that's, that's what we did. It meant that we needed to learn the air freight business and, uh, and freight forwarding and freight consolidating and a lot of uh, ins and outs about moving product around the country. Um, but what that's done, maybe accidentally, is it's given us a bit of a leg up in the, uh, in the business in the sense that our, our product is, uh, comes to us very, very quickly. Um, so we've, we've taken a day or two out of the supply line. Um, and we know exactly where it came from. We were surprised by in the first two weeks how many people came in and thanked us for opening. People would come in and say, you know, we've lived in this neighborhood for this long, we love this neighborhood, and oh my God, thank you, because this, this neighborhood needed this so badly. Um, and we're of the neighborhood as well, we've been here for 10 years, so uh, yeah, it was awesome. I think the one thing that's really surprised me is how much we've gotten to know our neighbors. You know, you, when you open up a business, you have certain expectations of how the business is going to unfold, and, and and you know that's very calculated and planned, and you know you do your spreadsheets and all that kind of stuff. But there's another side to it, the human side to it, that um, I haven't really considered, and that is, it's it's such a thrill to get to meet the people you live with, because we're we live in this community, and you know typically in Torontonians you work downtown or you work wherever, and so you might know your immediate neighbors, but we're getting to know. You know all the people that live in the community and the businesses that are operating in the community. It's a very, very strong community. I think the other big surprise was we, um, you know, in our business plan, we uh, had calculated or counted on a certain amount of support from the Leslieville area as a neighborhood fish store, and we've, we've certainly got that uh, since we opened. But we had no sense of how big the Toronto community was for a sustainable fish store, and. Uh, and you know we've had customers that come from regularly from Oakville and Mississauga and London, Ontario, um, and uh, and they are thanking us because they're they're eating fish again, and they haven't for, for years because they weren't comfortable where they were getting it, and and that's been a real um, a real boom.